Yep, just doing some paperwork. Yep, just wrapping up. Stinks pretty bad. Gotta let you go. All right, bye. Oh man, what's up y'all? Y'all come with me through the walkthrough. Spartan Adventure Park, Monroe, Louisiana. Open it up May 15th. Y'all follow me. It's gonna be awesome today, y'all. Here at the Spartan Adventure Park here in Monroe, Louisiana. This area is still the PGA Tour Golf Simulator area. You're gonna be able to set up and do tournaments here. Tournament one, tournament two, golf simulators. It's all sitting in there in packages, but we just gotta put it together. It's gonna be bad and bone. <sighs> gotta catch my breath after talking like that. Concession stand. Simulator room. Virtual reality room. I mean, uh, yeah, virtual reality room, not a simulator room. Check something out. This is more of my artwork here. This is a skull and cross clubs, not skull and cross bones. Don't get that, don't make that mistake because it's a big difference. This mural is leading us to the golf area. It's gonna be really sweet. I know I keep saying it's gonna be really sweet, but I mean, that's understood, right? It's gonna be really sweet. We pretty much gather that. It's an adventure park. It's got, whoa, stuff we can trip over. There's lots of hazards on a job site. I want y'all. I want to show y'all something else here, real quick too. Something I did not expect with this whole trampoline build out was all the awesome graphics. It's got extreme dodgeball printed down the side of this thing, and these graphics are everywhere from Fun Spot Trampoline Business. They, uh, man, I mean everything. All the parts are really good, well built. It's all like welded and heavy grade steel, and just stuff like this. These are things that, that we didn't expect to be done. It's just extra personal touches that are really awesome. It's gonna make a big difference for the trampoline park. This is the dodgeball area. I don't know if you can really see through this screen here, but it's all set up and ready to go. From my understanding, like you got two teams and I'm pretty sure you hit each other, but like there's part of that you're gonna hit the targets too. We're gonna see how that's gonna work out. I don't know exactly how that's gonna work out, but it should be really, really, really fun. Since we're doing a weekly walkthrough of a trampoline park, a weekly ritual is gonna have to be jumping on trampolines even though it's bad from a back it pretty sure it compresses my disc like you know you got the vertebrae and then you got the disc I'm pretty sure it just squeezes that out and squeezes the disc out into the nerve but we all get old but we can't let that hold us down we got to keep rolling someday we're gonna have a ninja course and I know I keep saying that this parts these parts go to the ninja course but someday it's gonna be magnificent and it's gonna sit right here it's gonna be awesome all right, we're gonna have to make our way to the trampolines. Like, we're not supposed to be drumming on the trampolines, but we're going to, because they're not quite ready. Because I'm the man. Like, I'm I'm building the place, man. I'm supposed to get, like, access to it, like, pre-access, right? All right, y'all, come on. All right, I'm gonna take my shoes off. There's a little contracted doormat there. All right. This is good. We gotta test it out. Y'all saw last week's video where I brought the boys in? It's pretty much the same stuff, except for it's about to get real. Wait, no, it's really not gonna be any different. It's pretty much gonna be just me jumping around on trampolines. Trampolines. Trampoline! Maybe I can do the splits. Maybe I can do this kind of split. I shouldn't be able to do like a quadruple black flip as high as I can jump. Whoa! All right, I am too old for this. You know, one good thing about Fun Spot's trampoline equipment is is each trampoline is operated independently. There's a piece of steel that goes around the frame of each individual trampoline that keeps them operating separately. So if I've got somebody that's jumping and they're bigger than me or vice versa. Uh, like as I'm going down and the force of the trampoline's coming up and then they're going down, it creates like a really, really jolting thing that could create an injury, break a leg or something. So uh, it's, it can be dangerous regardless, but this is the safest possible trampoline equipment out there. Oh yeah, 
I'm most definitely too old for this. Let's continue the walk through. I forgot all about the basketball goal. Let's check that out. I guess we're supposed to be able to dunk or something. You know, disputably six foot white boy. I'm not supposed to be able to dunk. But I can dunk here. It's like the laws of gravity don't apply. I feel like I came Elijah one. Oh, all right. Enough of that funness. I right, gotta get back out through the tunnel. Don't trip over none of this metal. Let's roll. I feel like I still need to walk like this. <laughs> All right, I'll pick it up. I keep on talking about the duck work, but it's just so cool. I love the, I love the rigid duck work. It sort of makes it look alive. Look right over there, kind of look across there. You can see, uh, oh, there's Glenn Fry again. There's Glenn Fry, he's, uh, he's part of the Eagles. Hey, Everett. Everett's the owner. He's awesome, man. He's an awesome guy. He likes to have fun. I mean, that's why he's building a trampoline park. Build something fun and bring people, bring people in. And that way people can have fun too. This place is just gonna be crazy.